Hi. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to set up the Millimatic 252 for flux core operation in 045 diameter wire. Uh, this came directly from the factory setup for 035 solid wire, so it's got V-groove drive rolls. Um, we're going to swap those over to knurled 045, change contact tip, change liner. Um, we'll go through all that. Some of the tools we're going to need are, well, pretty much all the tools we're going to need is a pair of welpers, an adjustable wrench, a 7 16 and a 5 8 inch wrench. Obviously our drive rolls, liner, contact tip, and then uh, we've got our filler material here ready to go. Uh, so let's get through it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of the end of the gun. Uh, first we're going to pull off the shielding nozzle and use our handy dandy wallpers. Break that contact tip loose. Contact tip should always be very snug. See a lot of loose contact tips resulting in bad arc issues. Take our 5 ace and our 7 16 Break loose that diffuser. Pull that off and as we pull the diffuser off you'll see this extension of the liner beyond that. That'll come into play early or later. All right, so now that we got the tip of the gun taken care of, we're gonna run our lead out straight on the floor. This is gonna release any of the drag and friction on the liner as we start to take it out. Next thing we're gonna do, flip this open. Next, we're going to use this knob to release the grip that the wire drive housing has in the power pin. Next, before I slide the power pin out of the housing, is when I prefer to remove this uh, control cable. So otherwise you pull it out and might strain the cable. And nice and loose, just pull it out nicely. Alright, now that we got the power pin free of the housing, we're going to take our adjustable wrench, break that loose. Of course, I got a lot of drag on the liner, so... Run her all the way out until the threads are free. And slowly bring your liner out. One more. So that's our old liner out. All right, so now that we've got our old liner out, open the package for our new liner. Now, when you took your old liner out, take note of the condition that it's in because so it may very well be salvageable. If it's not heavily boogered up, I like to keep them on hand just to swap them out. So the new liner, we're just going to slide right in, feed her all the way in until she butts up and then tighten the nuts. Alright, so we fed it all in. Go ahead and snug it down. It's another area you don't want it to be loose. You don't need to over tighten the really heavily, but you want it to be good and snug. So I've spun the lead around, and as you can see, we've got about a, a foot of extra liner that we don't need. Now, according to the book, we want a three-quarter inch extension beyond the end of that. So I'm going to measure three-quarter inches. Get my thumb there. Use my whelpers again. Find that rung and snip her off. Now it's important at this point to look at your cut. If any of your cut edge, that burr that's on the end, is protruding or projecting towards the center of that circle, take a file, take an angle grinder, take something and just kind of polish that up because if that's carving into your wire as you're feeding, you're going to result in a whole lot of issues, a lot of buildup on the end. So I'll straighten that up. All right, so I've taken a file and I've cleaned up that burr edge, so I've got absolutely nothing that's gonna interfere with the wire itself. Now I'm just gonna reassemble the end of the gun in the reverse order that I disassembled it, and then we'll move to the inside of the machine. Now that we've got our gun reassembled, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the power pin in the drive roll housing. Make sure it's seated all the way down there in order to maintain solid shielding gas flow. Uh, next, we're going to twist our drive roll restraints. We can pull our drive rolls off and place them in the ingenious spare drive roll rack. Alright, so now that I've got my V-groove rolls off, I'm going to replace them with our uh, 045 
knurled drive rolls. Put that on there. I always find it's easier to twist that if you have it locked in. Um, next, we're going to remove the spool retaining clip and we're going to remove this spring. We've got a uh, fiber spool. These tend to be a little bit wider, so I leave the spring off. All right, so as we load our filler material, you're going to want to grab your spool and make sure you know which direction it's feeding off of. As you can see on the drive roll housing, it wants to feed from the top, so we're going to make sure it's in that direction. Set it on. Make sure we're engaged in one of the dogs there so we have proper drive roll drag. At this point, just like solid wire or anything else, you're going to pull that off, get a nice solid clip, fresh clip on the end, feed it through the inlet, cross the drive roll and into the liner, bring your tension down here, consult your guide for the proper drive roll tension. At this point, we're go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger, jog it through, feed it out the liner. Go ahead at that point, put our contact tip back on. You don't want to have the contact tipped in there uh, when you're feeding it through. And uh, that's it. We should be ready to go. So thank you guys very much for watching. These are the individual part numbers on the stuff that we use today. The contact tip, the liner, and the drive rolls, they're all set up obviously for 045 because that's the size XL Arc 71 that we're using. I just wanted to make one more quick note about, uh, uh, about guns when you're MIG welding. So this is an M25. It's uh, rated at 100% duty cycle at 250 amps output, uh, but that is with 100% CO2 shielding gas. If you're using a mixed gas, that derates it down to 150 amps. That's common, that's every, every manufacturer, every gun, uh, if you're using a mixed gas, it's always gonna be derated from if you're using 100% CO2. So just keep in mind uh, that shielding gas really matters when you're trying to figure out what equipment you need to buy or what your capabilities are on the equipment that you have. Thanks again, have a great day.